Hello guys, I'm Shlok and you're watching Tech Burner. In this video, we'll be taking a look at some of the ROMs for the Moto G4 Plus. I tried and tested a lot of ROMs on my phone and to avoid all kinds of confusion, I decided to only review three of these ROMs in this video. So these are the official variants of the ROMs and these are quite popular for the Moto G4 Plus. I'll be comparing the features, performance, design, camera and some other stuff of all of these ROMs. So without wasting any further time, let's get started with the video. So first of all, I'm really grateful for all the ROMs that we have for the Moto G4 Plus and I really appreciate the hard work that has been put by the developers for creating all of these ROMs. Creating all of these ROMs, each and every feature takes a lot of time and a lot of effort. So a thumbs up for all the developers who have worked on all these ROMs and brought so many features to our devices. The three ROMs that we'll be comparing today are Lineage OS, Resurrection Remix ROM and the Invicta OS ROM. We'll start off with the user interface and design. The user interface of Lineage OS is very similar to stock ROM or the USP ROM and there are not many changes made to the user interface except for the boot animation and the logo that they have and some small icon changes. Resurrection Remix also doesn't have that many UI changes but there are a lot of things that you can customize in the UI and you can change some of the elements according to your liking. I'm not a big fan of the boot animation of the Destruction Remix ROM, but I found the logo very slick. The first thing that I noticed while using Invicta OS was the design. The boot animation looks spectacular, the logo is also good, and there are some subtle design changes in the status bar icons and the normal icons have been redesigned. All of the features have been put into a separate column in the settings menu, and there are some UI changes in the ROM that are subtle but are to the overall interface. Before moving on to the performance of the ROMs, if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell because I'll be uploading videos like this daily. So let's get straight into the performance of the ROMs. I've told you guys that I don't believe in benchmarks, but I took all these benchmarks just for you guys so that you can see what the scores are like. I took three benchmarks, the N22 benchmark, Quadrant and Nina Mark II. I was quite surprised by the fact that the benchmarks were an accurate portrayal of the performance of all the ROMs because generally they are all over the place. When we talk about the real world performance, while switching between the different applications in Lineage OS, it felt kind of smoother than the stock ROM and a bit faster as well. The day to day experience was quite similar to the stock ROM when you compare it with Lineage OS. You would start noticing a bit of frame stuttering if you make the animations a little faster. You can do that by going to the developer settings and making the animations as 0.5x. But I didn't notice any kind of lag or any kind of force closes while using the ROM. And the ROM feels very consistent and stable in the performance that it provides. The performance on Invicta OS as well was quite stable and quite consistent. The animations in this custom ROM have been turned up already and even when they are running on the normal speed 1x that is on the developer settings, the animations seem to be running a little quicker than stock. But you'll start to notice some frame stutter if you turn up the animation to 0.5x. They start to run real fast and they start to skip a lot of frames as well. And sometimes the animations won't even play at all. When it comes to opening everyday applications or switching between the different applications, the performance of Invicta OS was quite better than stock and it was a little better than Lineage OS as well. When it comes to Resurrection Remix, it was kind of a mixed bag. Sometimes the performance of the device would be really good and you would not notice frame starters even when the animations are turned up to 0.7x. Sometimes when you have the animations even on 1x, you would start to notice a bit of 1 by 10 second of a lag kind of or an extended frame starter and it would make the experience a bit inconsistent. For the most part, however, the performance on the device is really good, but you might notice a bit of consistency issues. When you talk in terms of gaming, all of the three ROMs were quite similar and I didn't notice much difference between the gaming performance. What I noticed was there was a bit of extended frame starter in the Resurrection Remix ROM and I think that's because of the inconsistency in performance. But that was also just once or twice while playing the game for more than half an hour. The other two ROMs were quite good. I would say the gaming performance on all of these three ROMs is quite impressive and better than stock any day and the real world performance of any of these three ROMs will also not disappoint you. The next thing that we'll talk about will be the features. Lineage OS has a set of basic features that are added upon stock ROM and they work well with the device. It has most of the basic features that are required and some extra ones. Invicta OS has some more amount of features and it has the essential features plus some extra ones and all of the features that it has work well with each other 
and there are not many inconsistencies when you use all of the features at once and that's because they don't collide with each other when it comes to resurrection remix it's again a mixed bag it has a lot of features and if you just scroll the list of all the available features you can see that the list is just unending this rom is packed with features if you want customization or if you want some extra features this rom has everything built in the developers have tried to give all of the features and everything into one rom you can see that when you open the launcher there are two file manager applications one is the stock one and one is the extra one that they have added and this is the case for most of the other features as well when you go to the recent panel settings you can see that it has the slim recents it has the grid menu and it also has the omni switch so these are the task managers of three roms combined into one but it also comes with a bit of inconsistency and you might notice some force closes here and there and as i said earlier you might notice some frame stutters while using some of these features together at once the battery life was pretty consistent on all of these three roms and i have no complaints about that while playing games though i noticed that invicta os loses a little bit less battery than the other two roms and in resurrection remix rom if you start to use all of the features at once it might take up a little more battery but because it is so started with features you also have an option for the kernel alter and you can change the kernel frequency inside the rom so you can underclock your processor to get some more battery juice most of the moto g4 plus roms don't do that well in the camera department and this is also the case with all the three roms that i've reviewed the camera performance on all the three roms was just the same and you can flash the stock motorola camera application if you want to and it might improve the camera performance a bit but in general the optimizations in the stock rom for the camera are quite better than most of the custom roms in the end i have to say that there's no one best rom for one specific phone and all of the roms have been designed with a particular type of user in mind but because all these developers are putting out their work for free i would say go ahead and try all the roms that you can and enjoy the experience of every rom that there is and in case you get stuck you can watch a previous video of mine about restoring the stock rom and it would fix your phone <laughs> shameless plug if you guys want some video updates and if you want to give some suggestions you can follow me on instagram @techburner So that was kind of it for the comparison video of all of these three roms. If you like this comparison, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and you can also watch some previous videos on this channel.